Chairman. Councilmember McDuffie. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to thank uh, my colleagues, uh, particularly the introducer of this bill, uh, for the effort he's put in to draft it, uh, and for all my other colleagues who provided input uh, in this debate. Uh, I do want to just say, you know, uh, this notion that this is a conversation starter, to me, is, is a little misleading because we, we've been having conversations about the size of our police force for quite some time now. Uh, so this is by no means a conversation starter. This is a continuing conversation about the size of the force uh, and the appropriate number. And when you ask, which I have as former chair of the Committee on the Judiciary, um, the leadership of MPD, how many officers uh, they need to have in order to adequately police, uh, you don't get a single concrete answer. Uh, because I think it's a complex question. And there are no easy answers. However, uh, reducing violence has been a priority of this council for some time now. Uh, so I think this idea that what we're doing uh, today in this vote uh, is, is breaking new ground. It's not, but it does obviously continue a conversation that we've been having for quite some time. I will say, uh, as the author of the Neighborhood Engagement Achieved Results Act, which thankfully this council passed unanimously last year uh, and attempted to fund, uh, there are some provisions of the NEAR Act that did not require uh, funded and did not have a fiscal impact, uh, namely the establishment of the Community Policing Work Group, as well as the uh, Office of Police Complaints Independent Complaint Review Authority, the Officer Retention and Recruitment Incentives, which we did fund, uh, as well as the Private Security Camera Systems Incentive Program. Uh, those are some of the things that didn't require additional funding by this council, uh, but some of those things still today have yet to be implemented by this MPD, by Metropolitan Police Department. So those are some of the questions that I think need to be answered, uh, particularly from community members who want to see more community policing. The reason I'm supporting this is not because I think we need, nor do I think residents in the District of Columbia want some sort of police state. They don't want officers lined up uh, in their neighborhoods, in their blocks. Uh, what they do want is meaningful community policing, patrol, visibility in their neighborhoods. Yesterday, uh, or earlier this morning, there was a homicide in Ward 5 at 15th and Urban Street in Brookline. Do I think increasing number, number of officers would have stopped that homicide? I'm not sure, but I doubt it. Because if somebody, for some reason, wants to do harm to somebody else in that way, it's going to be really difficult uh, to stop them. But what we did do when we passed the NEAR Act was usher in a health approach to crime prevention in the District of Columbia. What we said is we're going to look at how we use non-law enforcement agencies like the Department of Health, the Department of Mental Health, and others uh, to partner with MPD, to provide our law enforcement partners the added resources and support they need to do their jobs. What I consistently hear from communities is that they want to see more visibility. What I consistently hear from officers is that they don't have the resources or the manpower. They want to walk and do more patrol, but the call volume is up is what they tell me, and that they can't afford to get out of their cars and start walking because they have to hop right back in to respond to a crime. And so that's an issue that we have to confront. I do think that we uh, need to look at the number of officers that we have to address the issues that our rank and file officers are raising. Uh, but I also think that we need to make sure that we take these long-term intractable issues and continue to innovate around them. And the NEAR Act does that. And we need to fund that. So I'd love to see the NEAR Act funded in the mayor's budget when it comes down in April. And I'd love to see this council support that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McDuffie. Uh, further, 